Hello, today we'll be going through practice questions 31 to 40 for the CompTIA Scissor Plus exam. Let's begin. A company is in the process of implementing a vulnerability management program, and there are concerns about granting the security team access to sensitive data. Which of the following scanning methods can be implemented to reduce the access to systems while providing the most accurate vulnerability scan results? The correct answer is C. Agent-based scanning Agent-based scanning provides accurate vulnerability data by running directly on the system and reporting results back to a central server. It reduces the need for the security team to have direct access to sensitive systems. Since agents operate with local permissions and the data can be filtered or anonymized before transmission, addressing concerns about access to sensitive data. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Credential network scanning. Although accurate, this method requires providing credentials to the security team or scanner, which raises concerns about access to sensitive data, the very issue the question aims to mitigate. B. Passive scanning. Passive scanning listens to network traffic without actively probing systems. While it minimizes access concerns, it is less accurate and may miss vulnerabilities that aren't observable over the network. D. Dynamic scanning. Dynamic scanning is typically used for web applications, not full system vulnerability scanning. It requires access to the app in runtime, but doesn't address system level vulnerabilities or access control concerns. Therefore, the correct answer is C. There are several reports of sensitive information being disclosed via file sharing services. The company would like to improve its security posture against this threat. Which of the following security controls would best support the company in this scenario? The correct answer is B. Improve employee training and awareness. The disclosure of sensitive information via file sharing services often stems from human error or lack of understanding about data handling policies. Improving employee training and awareness is the best control to address this type of threat. Educating staff on acceptable use data classification, and safe sharing practices directly reduces the risk of accidental data leaks. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Implement step-up authentication for administrators. Step-up authentication enhances security for privileged actions but doesn't address data leakage by regular employees through file sharing. C. Increase password complexity standards. While stronger passwords improve account security, they do not prevent users from mistakenly or carelessly sharing sensitive files. D. Deploy mobile device management. MDM helps manage and secure mobile devices, but it doesn't directly control or educate users on responsible use of file sharing services across all platforms. Therefore, the correct answer is B. Which of the following is the best way to begin preparation for a report titled What We Learned regarding a recent incident involving a cybersecurity breach? The correct answer is A. Determine the sophistication of the audience that the report is meant for. Understanding the audience sophistication level is the most important first step when preparing a What We Learned report. It ensures that the language technical depth, and presentation style are appropriate, whether for executives, technical teams, or external stakeholders. Tailoring the report to the audience enables more effective communication and better decision making. Why the other options are incorrect? B. Include references and sources of information on the first page. References are important, but they should be added after the content is developed and tailored to the audience, not as the starting point. C. Include a table of contents outlining the entire report. A table of contents helps with navigation, but it comes after the content structure is planned based on the audience. D. Decide on the color scheme that will effectively communicate the metrics. Design choices like color schemes are useful for presentation, but are cosmetic compared to understanding who the report is for and what level of detail they need. Therefore, the correct answer is A. A security analyst is performing an investigation involving multiple targeted Windows malware binaries. The analyst wants to gather intelligence without disclosing information to the attackers. Which of the following actions would allow the analyst to achieve the objective? The correct answer is 
A. Upload the binary to an air-gapped sandbox for analysis. Using an air-gapped sandbox allows the analyst to safely analyze malware binaries in a controlled environment that is isolated from the internet, preventing the malware from communicating with external command and control servers or alerting attackers. This preserves operational security and prevents leakage of investigative activity. Why the other options are incorrect? B. Send the binaries to the antivirus vendor. Submitting samples to vendors may be helpful long term, but it shares the binary externally and can potentially notify attackers if they monitor such channels. C. Execute the binaries on an environment with internet connectivity. This could trigger command and control communication, alerting the attackers and possibly causing the malware to behave differently, making it unsuitable for stealthy analysis. D. Query the file hashes using VirusTotal. VirusTotal submissions are shared with the public and security community, which can tip off attackers monitoring for their tool's detection. It's not recommended when stealth is required. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Which of the following would help to minimize human engagement and aid in process improvement in security operations? The correct answer is C. SOAR. SOAR platforms are designed to automate repetitive tasks, orchestrate workflows across multiple tools, and improve response times, all while reducing the need for manual human intervention. This directly supports process improvement and efficiency in security operations. Why the other options are incorrect? A. OSSTMM OSSTMM is a security testing framework that provides methodology and guidance but does not automate processes or reduce human workload. B. SIEM SIEM centralizes and analyzes logs for threat detection, but it still relies on human analysts unless integrated with automation platforms like SOAR. D. OWASP OWASP is focused on improving web application security through best practices and tools but it's not a process automation solution for security operations. Therefore, the correct answer is C. After conducting a cybersecurity risk assessment for a new software request, a chief information security officer decided the risk score would be too high. The CISO refused the software request. Which of the following risk management principles did the CISO select? The correct answer is A. Avoid. The CISO chose to avoid the risk by refusing to implement the new software entirely. Risk avoidance involves eliminating the risk altogether by not engaging in the activity that introduces it. In this case, denying the software request due to an unacceptably high risk score. Why the other options are incorrect? B. Transfer. Risk transfer involves shifting the risk to a third party, such as purchasing insurance or outsourcing a service not denying the request. C. Accept. Accepting the risk means proceeding with the activity despite the known risks, which is the opposite of what the CISO did. D. Mitigate. Risk mitigation involves reducing the risk to an acceptable level by implementing controls. The CISO did not attempt to reduce the risk. They eliminated it by refusal. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Which of the following is an important aspect that should be included in the lessons learned step after an incident? The correct answer is A. Identify any improvements or changes in the incident response plan or procedures. The primary goal of the lessons learned step is to analyze the incident response process and identify what worked, what didn't, and how to improve. This often leads to updating the incident response plan or procedures to better handle similar incidents in the future. Why the other options are incorrect? B. Determine if an internal mistake was made and who did it so they do not repeat the error. While root cause analysis is important, this option focuses on blame rather than improvement, which can create a toxic culture and doesn't align with the goal of constructive learning. C. Present all legal evidence collected and turn it over to law enforcement. This is part of the evidence handling or legal response phase, not the objective of the lessons learned step. D. Discuss the financial impact of the incident to determine if security controls are well spent. While financial impact may be reviewed, it's not the main focus of the lessons learned phase, which is centered on improving response processes. Therefore, the correct answer is A. 
The security operations team is required to consolidate several threat intelligence feeds due to redundant tools and portals. Which of the following will best achieve the goal and maximize results? The correct answer is D. Deduplication. Deduplication is the best method for consolidating multiple threat intelligence feeds as it removes redundant or duplicate indicators and data points. This helps streamline analysis, reduce noise, and ensure that the security team focuses on unique, actionable intelligence, maximizing the efficiency and accuracy of threat detection. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Single pane of glass. This provides a unified interface for viewing data, but doesn't inherently remove redundancy or optimize the intelligence feeds themselves. B. SSO. SSO simplifies authentication across tools, but does not address consolidation or duplication of threat intelligence feeds. C. Data enrichment. Data enrichment adds context to indicators, which is helpful but doesn't remove, duplicate, or redundant entries from multiple feeds. Therefore, the correct answer is D. Which of the following would a security analyst most likely use to compare TTPs between different known adversaries of an organization? The correct answer is A. Meter Attack The Meter Attack framework is specifically designed to document and compare tactics, techniques, and procedures used by different threat actors. It provides a standardized way to analyze adversary behavior, map attack patterns, and compare known groups based on how they operate. Why the other options are incorrect? B. Cyber Kill Chain the cyber kill chain outlines the general stages of an attack, but doesn't provide detailed, actor-specific TTPs for comparison. C. OWASP OWASP focuses on web application security risks, not threat actor behaviors or TTPs. D. Sticks or Taxi Sticks and Taxi are formats and transport protocols for sharing threat intelligence, but they don't inherently offer a framework for comparing TTPs across threat actors like Meteor Attack does. Therefore, the correct answer is A. An analyst is remediating items associated with a recent incident. The analyst has isolated the vulnerability and is actively removing it from the system. Which of the following steps of the process does this describe? The correct answer is A. Eradication. The analyst is in the eradication phase, which involves removing the root cause of the incident, such as vulnerabilities, malware or misconfigurations to ensure the threat is fully eliminated before restoring normal operations. Why the other options are incorrect? B. Recovery. Recovery focuses on restoring systems to normal operation and monitoring for signs of reinfection after eradication is complete. C. Containment. Containment is about limiting the damage and stopping the spread of the incident, typically done before eradication. D. Preparation. Preparation is the proactive phase before an incident occurs, involving planning, training, and establishing tools and procedures. Therefore, the correct answer is A. We have come to the end of today's video. If you liked the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye!